In a previous video, we saw that we have to die because we sin, sin being disobeying God, or putting it another way, we don't do what God tells us to do, even though it's best for us and it's in our best interest. But is death the end? Is there anything else to hope for? Well, there is. And in chapter 15 of the first letter to the Corinthians, we've got a great summary of what there is to hope for. I heartily recommend that you read the whole chapter. Here, given the time, I'm only just going to pick up a couple of points. And at verses 3 and 4 of this letter, 1 Corinthians 15, we can read, The first thing I did was place before you what was placed so emphatically before me, that the Messiah died for our sins, exactly as Scripture tells us, that he was buried, that he was raised from death, on the third day, again, exactly as Scripture says. So we read here that Christ died for our sins, something we've looked at in a different video, and that he was raised from the dead. He was brought back to life. Later in this chapter, at verse 16, we can read, If corpses can't be raised, then Christ wasn't because he was indeed dead. And if Christ wasn't raised, then all you're doing is wandering about in the dark as lost as ever. It's even worse for those who died hoping in Christ and resurrection, because they're already in their graves. If all we get out of Christ is a little inspiration for a few short years, we're a pretty sorry lot. But the truth is that Christ has been raised up, the first in a long legacy of those who are going to leave the cemeteries. So we're told here very clearly that Christ was the first to be raised from the dead, a signal that everybody else has the opportunity to, to be raised from the dead. And that carries on in verse 21. There is a nice symmetry in this. Death initially came by a man, and resurrection from death came by a man something which I'd like to explore further, but ties us back to that previous video on why we have to die. It's a fascinating process, being brought back to life. And it leaves us with the question of what we've been brought back for. What is that future life going to be like? And what's it going to be about? That's something we'll explore in a future video.